Hello everyone, welcome to Tector.com. In this lecture, we will solve a problem on graph based protocol and we will see whether this given schedule S is valid or not. So, valid in the sense valid using graph based protocol. Okay. So, as we know that we need for graph based protocol, we need to have prior knowledge about the data access, right? That is, we need to have this database graph. Okay. fine and this database graph is given to us now we need to check whether this schedule is correct or not fine ok so to start with we know that schedule progresses in this manner ok so this is the first operation which is executed and this operation belongs to this transaction t1 it means transaction t1 starts fine so let us say this is transaction t1 which starts first now it acquires a lock on b so as we know that first lock can be acquired at any point of time so this lock b is granted okay so this is granted so after this first lock by transaction t1 transaction t2 starts you can see that here after this we have operation lock x on d by transaction t2 okay so this is by transaction t2 on database item d here right now you can see that this D is first log by transaction T2. Okay, so first log is acquired at any database item if it is not logged, right? So this log is granted. Now again exclusive log on H. So H is this database item and as parent is already locked, so we can grant the log on H, right? So this is also granted. Now unlock D. About unlocking, we know that in graph based protocol, unlocking can be done at any point of time. So, this D is unlocked. So, we unlock this D now. So, this operation is executed. After this, we have from transaction T, I mean transaction T2 stops for a moment and transaction T1 starts executing again its operation. So, here lock X on E. So now transaction T1 demands a lock on database item E as this database item E has parent B and parent B is already locked. We know that first lock by a transaction can be acquired at any point but when we have to acquire second lock as you can see that transaction T1 this one is second lock for transaction T1 ok. So for second lock the parent has to be locked right. So as B is already locked, so we grant lock on E and this is executed. Now D has to be locked by transaction T1 as again the parent of D is B and B is already locked, so this lock is granted. Okay, so lock D. Now B is unlocked by transaction T1, so we will unlock B. Now this E is unlocked, so we will unlock E ok so these two are executed after this transaction t3 starts and it requests a lock on database item b so as it is first log by transaction t3 so this lock is granted ok so this lock is granted now it also requests a lock on item e so as this is second lock or to in order to acquire second lock by second or third lock by transaction t transaction t3 we need to have parent locked okay and as b is already locked we can grant this lock so this lock is granted now again transaction t3 stops after this and transaction t2 starts this operation unlock h now unlocking is done at any point of time so we unlock this item H fine after this transaction T1 again resumes and it acquires a lock or requests a lock on database item G as this database item G has parent D and D is 
locked by transaction T1 only. This lock is by transaction T1 only. I should have written transactions. So this is by transaction T1 only or let me write down the transactions. Okay, so this lock on D who is parent of G is by transaction T1 only. So this lock is granted. Okay, so here transaction T1 is has locked this item G. So this is granted. Now unlock D. So we need to unlock this database item D. So we unlock this database item D. And this operation ex executed. Now transaction T4 starts at this point and it requests a lock on database item D. Okay, as database item D is not locked and this is first request by transaction T1, so it is granted by transaction T4. So this lock is by T4 and it is granted. Now request a lock on H as parent D of H has been already locked by transaction T4. So this request by T4 to lock transaction uh, to lock this database item H is granted. Okay, so this H is locked by T4. Okay, and this operation is done. Now this operation is done, of course, and then unlock D. So now we need to unlock this D. So we will unlock this D. Fine, and then unlock this H. So we unlock this H. Okay. After this transaction T3 starts here and T3 unlocks E. So we will unlock this E. Okay. And then unlock B. So B is also unlocked by transaction T3. Okay. And finally G is unlocked. So this G is unlocked by transaction T1 only. Okay. So you can see that we are able to execute this schedule following the graph based protocol and there is no conflict okay so this schedule is a valid schedule for graph based protocol okay and it is basically following graph based protocol okay so i hope now you understand graph based protocol well and still if you have any doubt regarding graph based protocol please ask your doubt on doubt section on tecto.com see you in the next lecture Thanks for watching.